Hi class, so please finish up the book. I'll give you about two more minutes to finish that up. <coughs> signal to me that you know the bell work is that you can remember that. Okay, so who knows what the bell work is? Todd? Roses. You're right. The answer is a rose. So today in class, we're going to identify the purpose of flowers, and we're going to describe the impact that flowers have on us, as in our emotions, and how flowers make us feel. So I'm going to ask Allison to step outside for a minute. a bouquet of flowers. And Todd, you're going to give these flowers to Allison when she comes back in the room. And so, we know that Allison has a poor demeanor sometimes, so it's really important that you brighten up the day with these flowers. So, why don't you come up front with the flowers. <laughs> so when Allison comes in, you're going to give each other and you're going to say, Welcome to Floral Design, Allison, where class is always about sunshine and pretty flowers. I'm not going to remember that. Well, then you're going to say something close to it, something that's going to make her smile. Where class is always what? Where class is always about sunshine and pretty flowers. Okay. And Casey, you are going to watch how Allison reacts. You're going to watch her facial, facial reactions, what she says, what she does, okay? You might sure. want to take notes. Is it floral design? It's it's class? It's okay. I'm going to let Allison in now. Mine back. That's such a picture. Um, <laughs> Please go to the front of the room. Welcome to Floral Design, where everything is bright and shiny. <laughs> Thank you. You guys can have a seat. I'm going to take these back. Wait, I'm going to flower. Have a seat, Allison. So Casey was watching your reaction. Casey, mm -hmm. how did Allison react? Let me give you flowers. Oh, uh, I would say surprise, smiles, and wonder. Okay, let me break this. I just I really don't like Todd. He's a jerk. <laughs> Allison, that's unacceptable. He just gave you flowers. <laughs> Casey, can you repeat that? Uh, I wrote smiles and wonder and surprise. Wonder, I like that word. Wondering why. And That's Allison, true. Allison, how did you feel when Ty gave you the flowers? Well, first he punched at me, so I want to punch him back. Okay. After that, how um, did you feel? Um, I was really confused. Okay. I mean, it felt a little nice, but Todd is not a very nice person. Um, he's kind of ugly, so I don't really like that he gave me flowers. Allison, your behavior in my classroom is unacceptable. Please move to the background. You've not only disrespected my classroom and the people in my classroom, but your behavior has been very poor. And if you speak in that manner, again, you're going to be wrote up. So Todd and Casey, let's keep talking about this. Todd, how did you feel giving Alice in the flowers? Mm, I really like it. You really like it? No, I didn't really like it. But what are the emotions associated with flowers? What do we see with flowers? What do flowers make us think of? Bees. Okay, let's talk about the emotions of flowers. Can you see? Um, let's talk about the emotions of flowers. What do people think when they see flowers? Uh, like joy or happiness. Okay. Because they're pretty and usually for an occasion. And now that we're talking about occasions, what occasions do we see flowers in? Uh, weddings, Valentine's Day. Anniversaries. Funerals. Allison, you may participate after raising your hand. Yes, Allison. Funerals. Funerals. Okay. 
Okay. Um, so how are flowers used to adjust another person's mood? So say you come to school and your teacher is really sad and depressed. What do you think giving flowers to that person is going to do? It says that they're important and you thought about them, so that usually makes people feel better. Okay. So it brightens someone's day. Okay. So after looking at all these uh, feelings associated with flowers, and holidays that we celebrate flowers. What do you think the purpose of flowers is? Uh, promote positivity, I guess. Um, okay, that's good. Beautifying idea. things. Todd, would you contribute to this? What's it about? <clears throat> The question was, what do you think the purpose of flowers is? To get a guy out of trouble. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to the emotions. What emotion would that be? Like, explain that to me. Tell mm, me why. You already wrote joy. Yeah. So yes. I'd say that. But okay, but tell me something that's not me. Use your creativity, Todd. I know you have it. Happiness. Okay. Allison, what do you think the purpose of flowers is? Mm -hmm. I think to make things nicer or just to add a good finishing touch to something. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to where we see flowers used. This morning, a member of the local I guess it wouldn't be a member. The local florist called me this morning. And a member of the community has just passed. And somebody came in and gave her $200 and said, I'd like you to make arrangements for the family to present at the funeral, however they see fit. And that's all they told her. So she called me and she said, I know that you're teaching a floor design class. Would your kids have any creative ideas to give me that would help me in uh, creating these arrangements for the family? So in order to create those arrangements, or in order to give this florist advice, what more do we need to know? Allison? I think it'd be nice to know something about the person, maybe, from the funeral that we're doing it for, they were older, or... Okay, so we need to have like a background information. Background information, that's good. What else do we need to know, Casey? We need to know what type of flowers are appropriate for funerals, because they say that some are for that and some aren't, because certain flowers mean certain things. Okay, so we need to know the meaning of flowers. What else did you say in that? And so which ones then are appropriate for the funeral? Colors, theme colors. Tell me more about colors, Allison. Don't certain colors have certain meanings? So like we should have meaning of colors as yeah. well? visual note of this because I'm going to erase it. Remember these emotions and uh, places we see flowers. <clears throat> okay, let's talk more about what we need to know. What do we need to know? Looking at this arrangement, I got this at Wise's this morning. So, who makes the arrangements for Wises? Do you think they just send it over to the butcher, the one that's like cutting up slabs of meat? Do you think that's the same person that assembles bouquets? Allison, who do you think assembles the bouquets? The florist. Okay. And what do you think the florist needs to know in order 
to assemble the bouquets. Do you think she has like an assembly line? She just picks one off here. One off here, wraps a bow around it. Sometimes I think she does, depending on how she is preparing it for like normal everyday stuff. I'm sure can she can just do mixtures. But if it was more special, she would have to know about the focal aspects of the okay. Todd, what do you think the force needs to know in order to be fine next? How to use scissors. And why is that important? To cut them right. Okay. Um, what other tools do you think could have been used? Maybe not in this bouquet specifically, but in arrangements in general. Casey, do you want to help Todd out? Um, depending on what she's making, she'd probably need floral wire, she'd probably be wiring her flowers, or maybe um, floral tape. So she needs to have not only tools and equipment, but she needs to know how to use them, right, Allison? So what about like, stuff like foam, the foam stuff that you use? The floral foam? Okay. We're going to put that with tools and equipment. Okay, um, do you think she needs to know anything about the flowers, like how the flowers work? Let me rephrase that. Do you think it's important that she knows how long flowers can be out of water before they're going to build? Okay. Is that what that's called? That's a, that's a good way to put it. So she needs to know maybe the function of the flowers, how the flowers, how the parts of the flower work. that needs help coming up with these arrangements. She has $200, she has a budget, that's all she knows. Um, so how's she going to go about creating these? Because one, she needs to make money off of this in the end. And two, she wants to make sure that she can give the customer as much as they get for the money they gave her. Prices, does she need to know prices of individual flowers? She does, but she doesn't just need to know prices, but she needs to know how to price something. So do you think this, is the same price as a little corsage or boutonniere? No. And do you think that the only thing she's going to charge is for the cost of the flower? So she what charges else is she labor, which okay. is depending on the arrangement, depends how much labor she's going to charge percent wise. Okay. Tell me more about how she charges. So, like you said, if it was a little boutonniere, it wouldn't be as much because the labor is not very much. So she would charge maybe two times the price of the flowers. And that would include her labor and the flowers. Um, or if she was doing a really big like wedding one, she would charge, and she would multiply it by 10. OK, so there's price markups. So Todd, on your farm, let's say you borrow, let's say you're going to put a fence up around your cows. So you borrow a, a pool digger from the local equipment shop place. And um, they give you your bill and you're like, wow, this is a lot of money. How did they make that bill? What was incorporated into it? Other than just renting it. Like, how did they come up with their rental price? What did they need to, to keep in mind? They probably would have thought about how long it would take for them to pay it off. Okay. And how heavily, and how heavily it's used. How heavily it's used. So when our florists are using their scissors and they're using, Casey, what other equipment do florists use? Um, scissors, shears, tape, wire, um, equipment wise. Most of that's done with their hands, I would say. But they might consider the wear and tear on the equipment they have when they're making the prices. Right, whether they would broke scissors trying to do something. Okay, um, okay, so I have a flower arrangement. How do I know if it looks good or not? Do you think she's just going to slap some flowers together and give it to these people? Aren't there like specific types of arrangements? Different? Huh? There yes. are. And what do you think she needs to know in order to make those specific types of arrangements? What they are? So she needs to have a basic idea of the types of arrangements. Like she needs to know her options.
And do you, going back to this background information, do you think an arrangement she makes from someone from America is going to be different from somebody from Africa or somebody from, ja from Japan? Do you think that would have an influence on the arrangement she makes? Um, it could because in different countries there are different, um, the types or shapes are more popular than in others. So in Japan they like the more open, airy ones. So that could depend, I guess, the nationality. Okay, so the cultural aspect is going to matter. And so we have our tools and equipment. And we have the pricing, labor, price markups, wear and tear. Uh, we have the purpose of flowers, which is what we did earlier that you're all keeping in the back of your head. And then we have the principles of design, which would be the types of arrangements, the focal aspect that Allison contributed. Um, function of the flower parts might have something to do with that. And um, so what we just did is we defined the next two weeks of our unit. So in this unit, we're going to be talking about the purpose of flowers. We're going to talk about the principles of design.